with popular devices like the Vive, Oculus, and PlayStation VR, virtual reality is perceived as an expensive accessory. But thanks to the Google Cardboard, it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this 3D printed VR headset. If you are yet to experience VR in any form, then making your own Google Cardboard is the way to go. The only thing you need is a pair of cardboard lens. Although getting the right lens and also the right lens to screen distance can be a little tricky. Placing the lens too close to the screen will either make it impossible for your eyes to focus on the screen or just strain your eyes too much when you're using the cardboard. At the same time, placing the lens too far from the screen will result in bad picture quality. So to solve this problem, I designed this. This 3D printable Google Cardboard has a simple mechanism that allows you to adjust the lens to screen distance by plus or minus 3 millimeters of the recommended 39 from the cardboard manufacturer's kit. The design also features the click mechanism from the Google Cardboard version 2 and the cutout for adding straps. To make this, you first need to download the STL files from either Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. I'll have links in the description. Slice and then print the parts. No special settings are required, but I did print mine with 50% infill at 0.2 layer height. All the parts were printed on my Hainet A8 and they all came out nicely. You will also need tin foil, M2 screws and some glue to complete this build. Once the parts are printed, putting them together is a fairly straightforward process. You need to first attach the lens holder to the middle piece and then attach the lens. Note, you can use the lens from both the version 1 and the version 2 of the Google Cardboard. All you have to do is to print out the lens adapter also included with the STL files. Attach the middle piece to the main body and secure it with the screws. Once that's done, proceed to wrapping the clicker with tin foil. The idea here is to wrap it in a way that creates continuity from the part you click on to the part that touches the screen. After that, take a rubber band and create a knot around it like so. Insert the shutter end of the knot into the small hole at the top right of the middle piece and pull it out from the other side. Slide one hand of the clicker into the hole on the right and then push down to lock it in the left hole. You can then use a plier to pull the rubber band over the notch on the clicker. This allows you to make selections in the cardboard hub while wearing the headset. Next, attach all three phone holder parts and secure them with rubber bands. The last thing you will need to do is to download the Google Cardboard app from your app store and scan the QR code included with the STL files. Once that's done, you can slide in your smartphone and start enjoying the immersive world of virtual reality. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful.